So, day three in France. It's uh, it's coming up to ten o'clock in the morning. I'm going to ride over to Lyon now. Uh, it's about two hundred. Where are we going to say now? Two hundred twenty-one miles away from where I am. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm avoiding all motorways today. I am just going to take uh, whatever scenic routes I can find. And uh, oh, got fire. What's going on now? Yeah, and just have a nice little ride through France. Um, as I said yesterday, there's um, the Germans told me there's a French holiday today. And judging by the amount of fireworks going off last night, um, I think they're probably right. It was constant right away up to midnight. So, uh, yeah, I uh, don't know how much is going to be open as I'm riding through. I'm pretty sure I'll find something along the way to eat and... Um, I've probably got enough fuel to get me there, but I'll fill up before I get there just because uh, Who wants to be running that low when you go through there? So yeah, it should be a nice little ride. I'll film um, If I find anything on route that's you know quite interesting. I'm sure there will be I mean I'm gonna go through part of the boats again this morning On route, so uh, I'm sure I'll find some nice fun roads. Okay. Speak to you soon. Right, so I've travelled uh, just under 30 miles. Um, I'm taking it very easy today. Obviously, a big day yesterday, but also I've got a lot of weight on the bike now with everything on now. So she doesn't quite handle the same, Shan as well, but not not the same. So taking it nice and easy. This is um, pretty much what riding through France is all about now. Just lovely countrysides, you know, very very big pretty little villages and uh, lots and lots and lots of greenery and these perfect roads you know they really are very very good roads it's amazing we can't do that in the UK but um, yeah somehow over here they managed to have these uh, you know smooth no potholes everything's good uh, it's, it's uh, incredible but uh, you know I, I try to think of the positive now for the UK that I can't, can't it's not coming to the not coming to mind so uh, we'll leave it at that but yeah this is this is pretty much how my ride's going to be I think most of the way through it's just going to be these um, straight roads and um, easy little travelling okay I'll speak to you again soon alright so I'm 50 miles in now um, it's been lovely I'm sort of running along I think parallel with the border of Switzerland, so it's quite nice, it's a nice road, it's glorious weather, I mean we're up to uh, 20, nearly 23 degrees now and it's you know not even 11 o'clock in the morning, so yeah nice, it's a nice nice easy riding day for me, uh, lots of miles yes but that's alright, I don't mind the miles, Tiger eats up the miles. Maybe to come across a few small villages soon and I'll get some of those in as well so uh, see exactly what France looks like for those that have never been and are thinking of doing it. I'd recommend it definitely, you know, I'd definitely say come over and do the Vosges Mountains, that's just stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, but I think, I mean, my next trip's plan is to do the Dolomites next I think, so the Alps and Dolomites take in Stelvio and uh, I'll see it, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of the other one now, Glass Block, oh, some, I can't remember, something like that. Um, so yeah, take in those and then after that I think it will be uh, the Pyre full Pyrenees and the Picos. So, um, you know, Spain and Portugal. And that will be it. That will be then uh, this side done, I think. Because uh, the Alps and the uh, Dolomites will take in Italy as well. And then I suppose I'd have to plan something, I don't know, huge. I don't know what it is yet. But this is, uh, this is really, really nice. Alright, just plenty of green around me. It's, it's a nice ride. I'll come back soon when I get some 
Oh, so we've got 150 miles left now. So it's 71 miles done. Uh, it's been very nice riding so far. It's nice and easy. I think very soon I'm going to come to some slower roads as I come through a lot more villages and uh, the sat nav is giving me an arrival time of 10 past 3 and it's now 20 past 11 so it's only you know, 4 hours left yet and that's without me stopping for lunch so I expect it to be quite um, busy slow roads well no, maybe not busy, it is Sunday but uh, Leon is just a stopover for me I'm not doing, you know, it's just a waypoint, that's all it is so, you know, I've got to finish editing yesterday's video I did try to do it in one day and realised we have over two hours worth of footage, there's absolutely no way I was going to do it so I'll finish that off this afternoon and get that one out and then start looking at this one after that uh, but more importantly, obviously, football tonight so, um, nine o'clock over here, the kickoff is so I've got to find somewhere to watch the football and uh, have a couple of beers and relax and then uh, long ride tomorrow over to Montpellier okay come back to you soon well I am 90 miles into the journey now ah this is pretty round here I like all those houses nestled up there in the hills it's lovely so the roads are a little slower now as I knew was coming but it's still lovely but it's starting to get a little bit numb now though but I won't stop just yet I shall, uh, what's time now, so it's 20 to 12 now I can probably make my stop about one o'clock for lunch and uh what to sell in there Whoa. just to break it up have a little walk around something to eat the temperature is right up there now it's 25 and a half degrees and it feels like that let's close this down yeah it's um getting very very warm and obviously the south we the further south we go the warmer it's gonna get A little bit more uh, mountain roads I think looks like in front of me so that's going to be nice just remembering that I do have the uh, boxes on so it's a um, little bit more tricky riding but it's alright it's just that little bit extra weight still extra protection as well if the bike goes down which uh, I've got no plans of it doing right let's speak again so Sunny mountains, uh, good roads. Unfortunately, I'm caught behind a couple of uh, cars towing caravans. But uh, here at this point, they're actually keeping up the speed limit, so it's not too bad. But we're still uh, on track. It's nice, you know. The um, actually coming up into the mountains dropped the temperature down by two degrees straight away so it's you know it's a lot cooler as well here See if I can get past these caravans in a second because um, 
Well, not a solid long white line, I can't. Yeah, they are, um, we've got some bends coming up, I think, and they'll slow right down. Still. No rush. Ah, oh, lovely views. I managed to get past the uh, the caravans, although they're actually keeping up with me at the moment, they're just sitting behind me. It just makes you feel bad, doesn't it, being in front of them? <laughs> Down from the mountain, there's the temperature coming straight back up again. Oh, it's lovely, glorious weather. One hundred and twenty miles left. That's a hundred miles down. Oof. Okay. Speak soon. All right. Had a quick, quick two-minute stop just to change the batteries in the uh, cameras. I noticed. The DJI had run out, which is really strange because usually it outlasts everything. Uh, but um, yeah, the uh, the GoPro still actually had power left, which was a little bit weird. But you know, there you go. Still on these lovely little roads. going through the mountains or the hills now rather than mountains but um yeah it's lovely it's pretty it's been very very green all the way through very uh only a few little villages and um, towns but nice to so say i've still got a uh, well 109 miles left so it's all right it's uh quarter past 12 at the moment so as i said i'll stop uh, one, one-ish. I uh, stretch my legs. Believe myself, because by that time I'm sure I'll be quite desperate. And then uh, get something to eat as well before heading off to uh, Leon. I can't remember where I was going for a moment, but yeah, it's off to Leon. Okay, catch up again soon. Alright, down to 90 miles now, which is really cool. It's coming up to 20 to 1. Uh, just, I think, just sweet, turned away from sort of the Swiss border side. So my last sign for Geneva a while back, and that was going the opposite way. Just nice, uh, twisty roads now. Yeah, she normal countryside. Yeah, it's just hills. All the mountains have disappeared now. That's lovely. It's still very, very green. I've seen a few points where I could have picked up the motorway to Leon again, but I didn't want the motorway today. I had enough of that on uh, the first day coming in. You know, it's one thing using the motorways when you've got a long distance to travel. You know, but when you want to see a bit of France stick to these roads so they're just lovely
Yep, very, very pretty. So it's one o'clock, well, two minutes to one. Um, I've got 18 miles left to go, so not too bad now. Uh, still give me a time of two and a half hours from here, so where am I at the moment? I'm in Lons. So, um, just going to go in and get some lunch now and, uh, you know, stretch my legs at that, you know, typical French restaurant, French cuisine, McDonald's. That's where I'm going, so I'm going to go and get a Big Mac and then um, get back on the road and get over to Leon. Speak to you soon. This is what the French cities look like. Um, obviously, like most countries around the world, the cities are very, very different to um, rural areas or even, you know, coastal areas. This is no different. You know, you could be anywhere in the world when you're coming in here, into these cities. So, I have, well it's actually gone up a little bit now, so I'm up to 83 miles, 83 miles, it's giving me a time of quarter past four as an arrival, that's two and a half hours from now, uh, as I said I thought the, the last lot of the roads would all be very very slow roads, but you know, that's alright, it's all good. To this again fantastic um yeah very very different not just everything is more relaxing you know green peaceful i mean i don't think the roads are normally this quiet i think it's got something to do with whatever this um holiday is for today i mean most of the things i've seen today are closed hence the mcdonald's for lunch by the way that was uh I uh, stopped for a couple of uh, boulangeries, but they were all, they were closed. So, you know, whether it's because it's Sunday, whether it's because it's the holiday, I don't know. It's half of this place, unfortunately. I don't know what it's called, but it's lovely. There was a little car museum I've just passed. Uh, gorgeous church. A little bit late with the cameras that time, unfortunately, sorry. <laughs> but it was very, very, very pretty to start with. Oh well, try next time. Oh, looks up down. That's um, a bit strange. Trying to work out where I am, and the sides are upside down. <laughs> Bad enough, I can't speak French. Well, I am currently 56 miles outside of Lyon. It is 20 past two. Uh, arrival time is now 4:08. So it's still saying another uh, just under two hours. Which does make sense to be quite honest at uh, 56 miles. Even at 30 mile an hour roads and these, you know, it's only as you come through the little villages it goes down to 30. Uh, they'll be right, they'll be right enjoying it. What's happened there? Come on. Turn yourself off, come on. Oh well. Alright, so come through uh, Bress. 
and all I can say about riding through Bress is it's like riding through Milton Keynes it is roundabout after roundabout after roundabout and there's another one coming up it's like every few hundred yards there's another roundabout I'm actually getting dizzy now uh, I am 36 miles away now from Leon um, it's now giving the arrival time of 4 o'clock it's uh, 2.50 so, you know, if each of the roads drops down to a 30, this is a 30 mile an hour road, but if each of them drops down to a 30 mile an hour road, I suppose that could be right. But yeah, everything's closed. Don't know where the people are. So, oh, there we go. This is Bress, which is sort of, as I say, it's like Milton Keynes. There's lots of green and then there's lots of buildings and, you know, lots of industry. It's, uh, and masses and masses of roundabouts. This is all right. This is saying there's nothing now on this road for the next 10 miles. Which is wonderful. You know, it's 50 mile an hour road now. It just does make sense. 35 miles. I don't get where that that nav is. It's expecting traffic somewhere. I probably could have done this about two hours faster had I got up the motorways. Uh, and obviously I'd have had the tolls that way. I don't think I'm using any more fuel. Um, I started the day, well I filled up yesterday didn't I, but I went back to the hotel so um, I don't know, I've still got three bars left, I've got plenty of fuel to get there and then um, yeah I'll top up when I get into uh, Leon. I don't know if there's any rush at the moment, I'm doing okay for this. So the sat nav is picking up problems ahead. I don't know what it's picking up, but it's fine. It's getting a little bit more overcast now, but it's actually 26 degrees. So it feels uh, nice. I don't know how that's going to do with the uh, footage because I've actually got an ND filter on today. So, and because it was so bright this morning, I did put a 30 ND32 on. So it may be a little bit dark, especially in the shadows, I would have thought. Still, there we go. Slow down again. Still, as I said, been a very enjoyable ride. Um, I doubt if I'll do any more filming before I get into uh, Leon. I think it's pretty much going to be like this now. And um, yeah, as you know, it's it's nice, but um, it's not the Vosges Mountains, that's for sure. Okay, guys, I will probably catch you the next time. We'll be um, in the Pyrenees. So yeah, I've got a couple of days rest over in uh, Montpellier after Leon and then um, yeah then after that I'll be going over to Lourdes and the Pyrenees so I should be playing in the mountains again which will be fun okay I hope you're all well speak to you soon bye now